Today I'm going to show you how to use System Restore so that any time your computer stops working properly, you can turn your computer back to a time when it was working well. So let me explain exactly what System Restore actually is. Every now and then, Windows 10 can create a restore point automatically. You can also create your own restore points whenever you like. Then if your computer has a problem at any time, you can use one of the restore points to turn your computer back to how it was when it was working properly. Turning your computer back to a time when it was working can solve many problems. For example, if you've installed a program or driver that's causing problems, or if your computer has suddenly started acting slow or unstable, you start to receive error messages, or one of your programs has stopped working properly or at all, or you've changed a setting and you don't know how to change it back. Using System Restore can often cure all of these problems by turning the computer back to a previous working state. By the way, using System Restore will not remove any of your personal files, such as photos, music, videos, documents, and so on. It may uninstall a program or driver that has been recently installed though, or change back a setting, which can be a very good thing if that program, driver, or setting is causing problems. So I'm going to show you how to set a restore point and how to use one as well so that you can roll your computer back whenever you want. So let's start by setting a restore point. So type in the search box, create a restore point, then click on it. Now make sure the C drive is selected, then click on configure and select turn on system protection if it's not selected already. Now we can decide how much disk space we're going to give to system restore by moving the slider. I would recommend giving it at least five gigabytes of disk space. If you don't have that much hard drive space spare, then just give it whatever you can afford. I have a reasonable amount of disk space, so I'm going to set mine to about 17 gigabytes. Once you're done here, click on apply, then okay. Now to create a restore point, click on create, give your restore point whatever name you like, then click on create. This usually takes less than one minute for Windows to create the restore point, but this will vary from one computer to the next. Once this is done, just click on close, then OK. It's a good idea to create a restore point about once a week, but you can create one whenever you like. Windows will also create one for you automatically from time to time, but it's best to create your own as well so that you have more of a choice of restore points should you need them. Now I'm going to show you three ways to use System Restore in case you need to turn your computer back to a working state. The first way is for when you can still get into Windows and the second and third methods are for when you can't. So firstly, let's look at how to use System Restore for when you can still get into Windows. To get to your restore points, click in the search box and type recovery, then click on this one where it says recovery and has a clock and monitor icon next to it. Then choose open system restore. We can close this window now and click on next. If this appears, then select show more restore points so that you can see all of them. So let's click on a restore point. You can tell that this is one that I've created as it says manual just here. Any that do not say manual, like this one, are the ones that Windows has created automatically. Each one of these have a time and date that they were created and a short description as well. So choose the restore point that you want to use. If you want to, you can click on scan for affected programs to see if any programs will be affected by using the restore point you've just chosen. Okay, let's close this. And if you're happy to continue, then click on next. In this box here, it says, if you have changed your Windows password recently, we recommend that you create a password reset disk. In other words, if you roll your computer back to a time when you had a different Windows password, 
your existing password may no longer work. So if you have changed your Windows password recently, then it's strongly advised to create a password reset disk before moving on to the next part. And here it just reminds you to save any of your unsaved work, then close all other windows. And when you're ready, click on finish. Do you want to continue? Once you click on yes, Windows will automatically turn your computer back to the time and date of the restore point you selected and it will restart your computer. This took about 10 minutes to restore this computer back to the restore point that I selected. I have seen some computers take well over an hour to do this, so leave plenty of time for this part. Once your computer has finished implementing the restore point, it will show a message like this one. When you see this, just click on close. If this has fixed any problems you are having, then that's all you have to do. But if this hasn't fixed the problem, you can go back to where we were. So type in the search box recovery and click on it. Click on open system restore. And let's close this window. Now, because we've used system restore once already, we now have two choices. If we choose undo, this will put the computer back to how it was before we used a restore point. In other words, it will take us back to where we started from. To use undo, make sure it's selected, click on next, then finish. Or instead, let's go back here. You could click on choose another restore point, click next, show more restore points, and then choose a different restore point. Perhaps go back further in time to see if that helps. Once you've made your choice, click on next, if you see this window, click on next and finish. Then give this some time to restore your computer again. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use a restore point when you can't even boot into Windows. If Windows has tried to start up unsuccessfully three times in a row, you should be seeing this screen. If this is what you're seeing, then choose advanced options, then troubleshoot, Advanced Options, System Restore. Choose your Windows account if asked. Then enter your Windows password if you have one. By the way, this will not accept a Windows PIN number. It will only accept a Windows password. Maybe they'll update this at some point in the future. But for now, just use your Windows password here if you have one. Then click on continue and next. Now we're at the system restore window, just as you've seen before in this video. If this option is available, then click on show more restore points. Now choose a restore point. If you want to, you can click on scan for affected programs. Let's close this. Then click on next. And if you see this window, click on next, then finish. As mentioned previously, it can take Windows quite a while to restore your computer back to how it was before. So give this a fair bit of time to complete. Once this is finished, Windows will automatically start up and hopefully your computer will then be back to a good working order. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you another way of using System Restore for when your computer won't even boot into Windows. This is similar to the last one, but from a different starting point. So if you can get to your login screen, then to use System Restore from here, click on the power symbol, then press and hold your shift key on your keyboard and click on restart. If you see this message, click on restart anyway. Now from here, you do the same thing that we did just now. So now let's quickly go through this as a reminder. Click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, System Restore. Choose your Windows account if asked. Enter your Windows password if you have one. Click on Continue. Next. If you see this, click on Show More Restore Points. Choose a restore point. 
Click on Scan for Affected Programs if you like. Then close this. Click Next. Next again if this window shows up. Then Finish. Windows will then restore your computer back to the restore point you selected and will automatically start up Windows again. So that was three ways to use System Restore on a Windows 10 computer. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.